Hello, everybody. This is Gemini 1975 coming at you with another model review today. This time I'll be reviewing the NZ Models Northwest 757-200. I call this the Silver Bullet livery. I don't know if that's really what it's called, uh, but it is my favorite Northwest livery. Um, so anyway, let's get going. So uh, the NG Models, you have the uh, Boeing in six, or uh, what do you call it? In Bo the Boeing logo at the top. There's Boeing 757-200. You got the Northwest logo. Then you have Northwest, uh, basically a two-dimensional rendition of the model. Northwest registration N604 RC. That would this is an X uh, Republic aircraft. So if it were still around, it would be one of the oldest 757s. Uh, NG next generation model one four hundred scale collectible diecast. All right, so here's the first side panel. Then you have next Northwest. Then you have the one telling you what aircraft is in the box. And then there's that one. And then the other side is basically the exact same thing, except you have the barcode, item number, warning, not suitable for children under 14, Boeing 757 trademarks of, uh, are among trademarks owned by Boeing, and Northwest is a trademark of Northwest Airlines. All right, so let's get going with the model. So as you notice, guys, this is on the new airport layout. So this will be my new model review uh, canvas. All right, so this might be a little fuzzy. Hopefully it doesn't come out this fuzzy, but oh well. Not a whole heck of a lot I can do about that right now. Okay, so there you have the uh, windshield wipers there's the nose cone you got the black uh, bullseye right there uh, look on the very side of the aircraft um let's see here, let's go up here maybe the uh will be a little bit better over here okay don't really see any pedo tubes but if they're there um that's where they would be all right, so you have, uh, that's part of the registration right there by the cockpit windows. It's a little bit, there we go, that's a little bit better. All right, so you have 5604, which is part of the registration. And then there's the L1 boarding door. Then you have Northwest and the logo. There's your L2 door, uh, your top, uh, top side forward antenna. And then right here you have the landing lights. There's your Rolls-Royce RB211 engines. And then your red uh, navigation light. Right here the outline of the fuel tank. And continue with the cabin windows. Down to the L3 and L4 doors. 757 N604RC. Again, this was an ex-Republic uh, aircraft. Northwest did not have uh, 757s until the Republic merger, and then they got more of their own afterwards. Uh, right back here, uh, there's the uh, APU exhaust, the red tail. This is before the uh, the NW, the miniature NW insignia that would go up here at the top of the tail. Um, all right, guys, so let's turn the aircraft around to the other side. Here is your forward baggage compartment, your aft baggage compartment. Um, there's your landing light, your green navigation light. Again, the there's the Rolls-Royce insignia on the engine. Um, so basically the same as the other side, but the baggage compartments are on the bottom of the aircraft. All right, so let's turn the aircraft over on her back. Um, let's see. 
Uh, is it going to cooperate? Maybe, maybe not. Okay. So if you look on the bottom side of the aircraft, there isn't really anything special under the nose. There's your nose gear and the nose gear doors. Come down here, you got some nice detail on the bottom side. There's your bottom side antenna. Come down here. Um, for those of you that love two-piece wings, here is a wonderful, uh, uh, wonderful thing for you. This is a two-piece wing. It looks like they're slotted into the side of the fuselage. Here is your stand hole. Uh, right here, you've got main gear, main gear stowage points. You've got some under wing detail. Um, there's the underside of the engines. Nice, really nice detail there. Come down here. There's your aft bottom side antenna. Right here, come at the very back of the plane, you have the APU access door. And then, of course, the underside of the rear horizontal stabilizers. So very, very nice. So if you are looking for a retro Northwest model, highly, highly recommend this aircraft. Um, there are, NG models did release several uh, registrations. There is one that has the NW up here, which is a little bit revised, um, a little bit later after the Republic merger than this uh, livery, because this was like right after the merger. Then a little bit longer after that was the one with the little white Northwest at the corner. So uh, if, um, if you like Northwest Airlines, then I would definitely get one of these. So... Anyways, guys, uh, I'd like to give a shout out to my uh, Global Aviation Alliance cohorts in the call tonight. We have Aviation JXXX, my uh, right hand man, my uh, go to guy. Uh, just, I can't say enough about him. And then we have uh, Skyly Gamboa, probably my my third uh can't say enough about Skyly Gamboa and then we have um SFO spotter uh so anyways guys I I really appreciate all of you and if you want to you know to talk with fellow aviation enthusiasts if you want to you know get to know some of us uh please message Myself or Aviation JXXX, either Instagram or on this video or any other videos on our channels, and we would be more than happy to help you, you know, uh, get a link and to join us. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you to my special guests and all of. Uh, you know, all of you out there for watching. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video.